Hi there, I'm Bill Hurd, and this is the Christmas tree making tutorial texturing section. And I'm going to be doing this in Adobe Photoshop, but the process should be about the same in any other editor, such as GIMP or Paint. Uh, but this is what I'm most familiar with. I'm also going to be using a very old version of Photoshop because I'm a starving artist and too poor to afford Photoshop CS3. But maybe someday. All right, I'm going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to create a new image. Uh, I'm going to make it 512 by 512 and a transparent background color, although I'll change that first thing. All right, let's go down here and let's create a new fill layer, solid color, and pick black. OK. Create a new layer. Go to your brush. Select a brush that's about that's solid and about 9 or 10 pixels. Okay. Make sure the color is white and start from the center and start painting some branches. Don't have to fill up the entire thing, just some random branches. Nothing too special. Just make sure that you get a couple of forks in there. If you have a Wacom tablet, this will be a lot easier, and you can taper them and make them all look nice and pretty, but this works. Okay, now with the, some random branches made, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and increase my brush size to about 20. And I'm going to paint over just the end of each branch. It doesn't have to be pretty, just something quick. Cover the end of each branch. All right, now that those are all covered, we want to go ahead and go to Filter and Noise and Add Noise. We want to do this uniform, monochromatic, and increase that amount all the way up to 400% and hit OK. Now drag Layer 1 over the top of Layer 2 and save that to the web file. Save, as, save for the web. We can do this on a medium quality, medium high, 65%. Make sure you turn off progressives because some pro programs have a problem with it. Optimized off, all the settings off, and save. And we're going to call this tree trans because it's our transparency map. And hit save. Okay. Now, go to this top layer here. Uh, to layer one, go to add layer style, and we're going to want to select color overlay. Click the red here and change that to a nice dark gray. Hit OK, OK. File, save for the web, save, and we'll name this tree disp for tree displacement, and save. All right, now create a new layer. Go over here to your your color settings and change these to a nice medium brown for the white. Nice medium brown. Okay. And the black, we want to make that a nice dark brown. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay. Go up here to filter. Render. Render clouds. Now go over to file. Save for the web. Save. We're going to call this trunk and hit enter or save. All right, now select uh, the uh, want to right click on layer one on the icon over here and select layer transparency. Select layer three. And then go down to hue and saturation. Change. The set, bring the saturation up a little bit and change the hue till it's a nice bright green. And click OK. 
Now select the layer mask up there at the hue and saturation layer and hit control I. Now save that for the web. And we're going to call this tree text and hit save. All right, now we're done. The next step is going to be in Daz Studio.